let's see. Yes, YouTube says we are live and the stream application also picks up my voice. So apparently we are indeed live. Okay, welcome everybody uh, to the second episode of uh, the Code Explorer, uh, where I, uh, Cedric, will teach you a whole new way of uh, coding. Um, as you probably already know, or you do not know, um, in my first video I explained to you uh, why I started this series, uh, because in the past uh, I've been experience, experiencing some different ways of learning how to code. Um, let's see. In the past, uh, I, I'll just explain uh, a little bit uh, how I, I managed uh, to, to get myself into code uh, in the past. So, as I explained in the first video, um, in my opinion, the best way to learn how to code is just by just getting into it and just coding, trying some cool projects and just bumping into problems and just solving them. and. At this moment on YouTube, there are a lot of tutorials uh, that show you how to code and how to how to learn a certain uh, a certain um, new uh, language uh, by just teaching you the, the different ways how how to do um, all kinds of things. Um, but um, I am going to try to, to 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 launch a whole new concept just by teaching other persons how to code by teaching myself how to code because in my opinion this is the best way to to learn um, the best practices of something and uh, just by bumping into problems as I said yeah, we just uh, learn how to get on with it um, yesterday I covered some of the uh, the few basic things about PHP uh, these are just uh, combining a PHP script uh, with, with a simple HTML um, making a post request to uh, in the next uh, HTML page, but but today we're going to uh, to take a, a whole different uh, turning. Um, today I, I've talked I've talked with a friend of mine who is uh, an expert in PHP, and uh, and he he gave me some tips about uh, what the next steps are to into learning PHP, and those next steps are uh, just using PHP. With the command line because PHP is not only just a programming language where, where, which you can use to make web pages or, or, or backend uh, APIs um, but you can also use it to, to make some very uh, variously uh, scripts and, 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 and take your code into those powerful tools just uh, like the command line um, next to the command line we're also going to take a very first look um, into the, the classes, object-oriented classes. Now, this may be something that you have heard of, have heard of, but, or, or, or maybe you do not, you don't have heard of it, um, you haven't heard of it, um, but uh, I'm going to be honest with you, with you guys, me, myself, um, I already have some experience in object-oriented programming, so that Thing is not going to be entirely new to me so you'll have to excuse me about that part because I already know it so I'll just try to explain it on the go before we really get into the classes thing I'm going to explain it as as, as good as I possibly can and uh, and just like I mentioned in the, in, the, in the first video this is a live stream that is uh, being also being captured and and the, at the end, this video is going to be published on my on my channel. And this is also because this is the the second try the second try in my channel. Um, excuse me if I actually do have grammatical errors or uh, English bad English. Um, I'm trying my best uh, to to get you some to learn you something and uh, and and to uh, to to teach myself and you something by just 
trying to code something and trying something new. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's just r dive right into it. Um, as I said to you, um, we're going to use the command line. This is a very simple tool in uh, in o OS X um, to to run PHP scripts. Now, in the in the previous video, we already made some PHP code uh, with uh, in, co in combination with HTML, but we're not going to use the these the this code. Um, we're going to start an entirely new project, um, and let's just first of all search how we run a simple PSP, PHP script with um, okay we have a message here okay welcome to the stream I, uh, I, ho I hope you uh, you learn something from it <coughs> so uh, let's just search how we will run a PHP script with our terminal so PHP run from command line and now of course we're going to use OS X version using PHP from the command line okay so I hope you guys can read this in the pre previous video I, I used the same settings to browse the web and I hope these settings are optimal please let me know if you can't read um, if you cannot read this so basically I have something in here this guy uses this code and his command line to execute a certain file so I'm going to look for another link in Google PHP from the command line just to make sure that I'm on the right on the right path yes this guy uses some different things Oh yeah, so so this is the way to make something executable so you don't... Okay, alright, so let's just dive right into it. I'm going to make a, a new uh, PHP project. Um, and this project I'm going to uh, store it um, somewhere differently uh, than, the, than the first video. In the first video we used uh, MAMP to store our videos uh, because we were uh, running PHP on our local uh, web host, on our local uh, web server. Uh, but this time, uh, since we're going to execute it uh, using the terminal, we just need uh, to, to, to save it uh, in our local documents folder. So we're going to create a new project, a PHP application. Next. Um, so the project name is going to be a Terminal. Terminal, just because we want to use it in the terminal. And we are going to put it in my documents. And just in the folder learning PHP. Okay, so local website run as. Hmm. Oh, cool. So here we can say that our script must our script must run in the command line, perhaps. Okay, so our NetBeans IDE does these things for us, and let's just finish this. So terminal first PHP okay public HTML I don't quite know what these are um, but let's figure it out in our documents P learning PHP first PHP okay so public HTML test let's just create a new PHP file and the root of this folder new PHP so we're going to name it hello dot PHP um just to test if the terminal things work and this hello.php is just going to give a simple echo hello world now this code we already uh went over this code um in the in the first video the echo and uh, the fact that you have to use uh, a dot comma uh, at every command that these are uh, a few of the simple things that we have learned um so yeah, we're going to save the hello.php and we're going to navigate to it or can we just run it in NetBeans? Oh, that doesn't quite look... That is gonna work. So we're going to go get our terminal and where are we right now? We are in the root of my user. So we're going to go to documents 
and then here we have learning PHP so we're going to go to learning PHP um, first PHP yes it is located in first PHP so we're going to go to that folder and there we have it we have our file hello.php um, so according to this web page we just need to say PHP uh, and then leave uh, some space and then just say the file name so we're going to test that php and then hello.php and yes indeed it does uh, say echo a text but we're going to use uh, a backslash m just to make sure that it does return a new line okay so yes indeed i'm just going to clear the terminal and rerun the script and it says hello in here so right now we already have run our first script in the terminal and this just works uh, so basically this is a, a very easy and very simple way to, to run to, to run some PHP you can um, PHP uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful language and uh, for example if you have PHP installed on, on your web server you can just uh, upload some scripts to, to your web server and then just run them and, uh, and you can do some very powerful things um, without ever needing uh, something like a UI uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a web page like Google Chrome just by uh, getting feedback from the, from the console. So as I told you, as I promised you rather, uh, we're go we are going to uh, look at some of the basics of classes and object-oriented programming. Um, as I said, I already know uh, some uh, some things about object-oriented programming because, excuse me, as a living, um, I am a developer. I'm a, I am a C sharp developer, and um, I use object-oriented programming every day of my life to to do my job, of course. Uh, so I'm going to try to explain it to you as good as pos as I possibly can by just getting by just. Uh, drawing something on this plain board in Photoshop. Just uh, I believe this is going to be the the, the most easy way to uh, to explain it to you. Um, so basically, object oriented. It's a it's a very powerful way uh, to 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 develop some things in in uh, in many different languages. Uh, not only PHP, but also yeah, like I said, so uh, C sharp, uh, Java. Uh, what other languages use it? It's it's like a whole lot of languages uh, can use object oriented programming because it's so powerful and because it it is the it is very realistic and it is uh, very close to, uh, yeah, as I said, realistic to the real world. Um, its uh, its purpose is to to actually almost create uh, real objects and and just let them do certain kind of stuff and uh, and that's the way to uh, that's a very popular way to code apparently because uh, almost everybody uses it in the in the professional. Uh, developer world so yeah um, object oriented um, everything actually in the whole world is an object for example if you have a door a door I'm a very ba bad uh, I'm very bad at drawing by the way I'm going to do my best in here but I won't give any promises that this will be a Picasso or something um, so in the real world we have in the real world we have a door and this door uh, has some um, specifically for this door uh, he has some um, some attributes or some 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 things that are uh, specifically for him for example this door can have uh, windows on it uh, inside it windows inside it and it, uh, it, can, it can have a certain color uh, for example a uh, gray a gray color um, and this door has all these attributes so called um, and you can possibly also have another door that is basically based on functionality practically the same but this door does not have any windows does not have a gray color oh 
I made this a mistake there. Um, but it uh, it also has a doorknob, and it is, for instance, it's a blue, it's a blue door. That's the things that it differences. Uh, that's the difference between the first door and the second door. Now, in programming languages speaking. Um, we are going to want to make some kind of a blueprint for the door. So some blueprint where the programmer can say, look, I want to make a blueprint for an object. And this blueprint can have a name, so a class name. Can have a name. And this object can have certain kind of attributes or values. So for example, a door can have the, the attribute uh, color, uh, it can have the attribute uh, doorknob, this a certain type of, type of doorknob. Um, and also it can have the attribute of number, number of windows. Um, please excuse me for my bad uh, writing skills because uh, right now I'm using a, a, a Wacom tablet to, 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 to draw this into Photoshop uh, and it's been a while since I last used it. Um, so yeah, we have this blueprint for a door with uh, a blueprint for, to make a door and each door can have a color, a doorknob and a number of windows. So, for example, if I want to say um, I want to build a, a door with um, with a, a flat doorknob, um, I want to make it black, and we also want to put one window inside it, one giant window. Then we are going to say, "Hey, let's take this blueprint here. Uh, let's let's name the 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 new door uh, special door special door." And let's give it uh, a black, black color, uh, a flat doorknob, and uh, and one giant window. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be one door. But of course, in, in programming language speaking, you're not going to make a physical door. No, you're going to make uh, a certain uh, virtual object of the blueprint that you just defined. Uh, so basically, it's just uh, object-oriented programming. It's just uh, questioning yourself, uh, these objects that you want to make in uh, and, 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 and IT world, of course, for a certain IT project. Excuse me. <coughs> these objects that you want to make, what kind of attributes, what kind of, uh, um, specifically for that object, what kind of, um, I can't find the real word right now. Um, yeah, what kind of attributes uh, does this object have? And also, the next thing you wanna you want it to have this proto uh, this this blueprint is what can it do? So first we have what kind of object is it? So the name, it's a door. Then the attributes, what does it? What is it? What does it have? What 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 kind of uh, what different types of 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 ability? Uh, no, it's not abilities. What different type of um, no I can't really come up with a word that describes these things uh, yeah descriptions perhaps yeah the, what kind of descriptions does it have and as uh, finally uh, what kind of functionality does it have of course a door what does a door do it can open and it can close so basically that is all the those are the two main functionalities of a door and thus we are going to translate these real and the physical real world uh, functionalities into simply functions for uh, and for the prototype so every door has a function open and a function close now in programming language speaking um, a function can have a certain type of parameters and it also can have a return type. So the parameters are things you, you want to give to your function. Uh, depending on the parameters, the function is going to output something different or it's going to uh, some do some different things uh, w with, with the input. Um, 
and the output is of course uh, the outcome of the function this can be either something or nothing the, this is a para, uh, this is a really specific for each uh, function but uh, but yeah so that's the main explanation of uh, a class um, so basically so basically to recapitulate um, a class is a blueprint of a real object that you want to use in a project so for example in this case we have a door but we could as well have uh, a fish a fish that is uh, of a certain uh, a type that has a certain length uh, that has a certain maximum speed and you can make a blueprint with for f for a fish that can have an attribute speed color um, length um, what other attributes can we can we give it a sense of smell perhaps uh, you can go very wide in these things but yeah, that's, that's the basic concept of, of object-oriented and classes and just making a blueprint. And when you are finally done with the blueprint, you can take that blueprint and convert the blueprint into a real object. In this case, a door or a real fish, for example, uh, a trout or, or a salmon, um, just any kind of fish. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just try this and, for, and, and PHP. Um, and just uh, see what we what we get in uh, what we get from it. So let's just dive into some code. And enough with the explanations. So we got hello.php in here. So we're going to search how we are going to need to to do some um, object-oriented uh, PHP. So PHP uh, classes class class example. I believe this is something very good. So the official PHP documentation. So it's basically very simple. You just type class and then the certain class name. So this this name is actually the name of your, uh, let's say the blueprint that you want to make. Let's say if you want to make a blueprint for a fish, then this name is going to be class fish. Um, so uh, and these are the variables. So actually the, the attributes that, that we, um, that, that the, the fish is going to have so in this case it might be uh, var, um, var length and var color as it says here um, function vegetable so but you have to you have to notice that this is the first thing I notice here and that I didn't explain yet is a constructor I didn't explain yet how we uh, we make uh, a new object from a certain type of uh, a blueprint from a class um, we do it using a constructor so when you when you want to make an instance of a class an instance of a, of, a, of a blueprint into a real object you need to call the constructor of the class you, you need to say to the class or to your blueprint like construct me um, a single real object of your blueprint given these these and these attributes and this constructor is going to take the attributes as it's as you can see here it's going to take the attributes and he's going to put it inside the variables of this class of this uh, blueprint just to make oh, excuse me I just have to burp constantly um, just uh, where was I um, yeah it's, he's going to take the parameters and he's going to put it inside those two attributes to make the real object um, and once you say like okay blueprint construct me an object with these things then it automatically returns an instance of itself of the blueprint and in, in, in our case it's going to be uh, a fish um, yeah just let's just take uh, let's just make a, a, f a fish class so um, it just uses the normal PHP tags okay so let's just dive right into it uh, new PHP file fish.php okay um, so we're going to say class uh, fish curly brackets okay curly brackets open and then we're just going to make uh, some attributes for the variables so we're going to make uh, var var um, length so the fish is going to have a length uh, the fish is also going to have 
a certain uh, color and the fish may also have um, let's say a certain age no 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 uh, uh, age is, is, is perhaps a, perhaps a, age is a, is, a, is, a, is not really a good practice um, let's say a fish can have um, number of scales just to to do something ridiculous number of scales just to do something completely random um okay so the next thing as i said we're going to need to to make the constructor so basically a constructor is like a function of its own class name so we're going to make a function fish and it's going to take some Various, some some parameters in this case we're going to, we're just going to add length color and scales okay so something you you might want to you might want to notice uh, uh, while you are uh, making constructors is that these parameters theoretically they are optional and practically also they are optional you can perfectly make a function so uh, a constructor with just no parameters inside it it's perfectly normal to do this because if you for example want to say like I want to make a fish with uh, this amount of uh, length and this color and, uh, and a certain amount of uh, scales then the constructor uh, is going to make an instance of itself, an instance of a fish, with uh, with the data you've given him. But when you do not give something any uh, parameters, it's going to it's just going to do the things that are stated in here, and that's just up to the developer. If no things are just given, the developer can just say like, okay, the default fish. If you do not give any parameters, the default fish is going to be one meter long. Uh, it's going to be a blue one and it's going to have uh, like uh, uh, 20 scales uh, that's just up to the developer and of course uh, depending on the project is it's uh, the developer who's going to decide what's come what comes in here so yeah uh, we're going to uh, attach these parameters onto our uh, attributes so basically we use this editable as editable so basically what it does here is it takes the this object for the class so it, it already I, I believe uh, it already has made some instance and then the edible variable or the edible attribute of the instance to that attribute he's going to uh, he's going to set the the value of, of this parameter in here so yeah uh, let's go do this uh, this this length is length okay let's just do this for all our other for all our other attributes as well color is color this number of scales is scales so as you can see we just basically we assign the values of these parameters to the the right attributes of the instance it's perfectly you are perfectly capable as a developer to say like okay this bunt length oh damn it i'm just used to to, to writing uh, c sharp uh, this length is scales technically you are perfectly capable of doing this you are just going to assign the, the attribute length with the value of the scales but because this is just uh, not logical to do we're not going to do it and we're just going to assign the right values to the right attributes so um, as I uh, mentioned earlier if you give uh, nothing of uh, parameters it's up to the developer to just assign some uh, values to, to the to the attribute. Excuse me. This length is, uh, for example, default is going to be 10. 
and then this color is uh, its default is going to be a blue fish and then this crap I keep forgetting these things and uh, this number of scales as default it's going to have like 50 scales um, okay so basically as I believe method or function face fish has already been declared oh okay so apparently in PHP you cannot make like two uh, constructors or something even if they have a different amount or, or, or even if the the parameters that it gets are different so okay so that's the first lesson I've learned today is that if you make a constructor of a certain uh, and inside a certain class you only can have one constructor so let's just search um, here it says green color is green so I wonder if this means that it's always going to be green or it's just default going to be green um, this is something we are going to have to, to, to just test and you know what I'm just going to use it right away so the color is default is going to be green so default we're going to have a green uh, fish if we do not have any of these uh, parameters we should get a green fish and otherwise we get we should get uh, a certain type of fish that we that we specify um, when we make uh, the 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 instance of uh, the object okay so function as editable function what color okay so basically these functions are like functions uh, that uh, the the object is going to have to return something so basically this function can be called when you make an instance of, of an object and then when you say like uh, the vegetable dot is editable it is going to return what value is inside the attribute of that instance okay so let's just uh, let's just see uh, function function um, um, get color okay function get color it does not need and to have any parameters you just uh, are going to ask to your fish to just get it colored so we're going to say return this dot color okay so let's just try this won't we um, so basically this is a class uh, but we are going to have to make an instance of it so we're going to search it in Google PHP uh, instantiate instantiate class okay classes and objects very good um, I have a, a little feeling that if we just call the class and just add in brackets what parameters we want to have it, that it just will make an instance, instantiating a class. Require once function hello is new okay so we're going to use this one okay 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 um, okay so for now we're going to use it inside the same PHP file because we have a class in here and inside the same PHP file we're going to say, oh just wait a minute we're just going to say um, a variable um, uh, little fish little fish is fish okay and we're going to give it uh, a length of about 30 that's not really small that's not really a little fish a length of about five uh, a color of uh, we're going to make it a gray fish and we are also going to give it like uh, 70 scales I know it's a bit much but it's like a, a, a muted fish a mutated fish um, so yeah we're going to uh, and after that, uh, perhaps uh, we might try to echo the little fish. Echo little fish. Okay. 
let's just run the script. So fish.php, let's just run it and just uh, php fish.php. .php. Okay, fatal error call to undefined function fish and users learning on line 25. So basically, we want to make a fish, but it's an undefined function. Okay, let's just see if we over dot something. Oh yeah, I see, I see. We have to say like new fish. So this variable is a new fish. So let's rerun it. Okay, so this is not an, uh, something different. Object of class fish could not be converted to string in. Oh yeah, yeah. So I see. So we want to to echo the variable, but the variable is is, is an object and it's not a string. So the the echo function and PHP is only going to output uh, a string. And of course, our little fish is not just a string; it's an object with uh, a certain uh, with with a certain amount of, of mm. attributes inside it. Um, yeah, just give me a little moment. Someone ask me something in here. Okay, so apparently we have something wrong on our stream. Just YouTube says we do not have the right video settings for our stream. Okay, very well. Um, let's see in our settings here. Uh, video okay just give me a small moment guys Okay, so apparently it is live. I just talked to someone. It is live, and apparently, okay. So let's just get on with it. Um, okay. So where were we? Okay, yeah, yeah. So so we got we tried to echo our object, uh, but it didn't work because uh, our object is not just. Oh, apparently there was some kind of mistake. It's live. My stream is live. Just hold on a, a second, guys. Something is bad with the stream. The current keyframe frequency is incorrect. Let's just get on with it. Um, if it's a bad stream, I'll see it in the end. And perhaps I'll just... Uh, uh, try to record it once again okay so uh, let's just get on with it um, as I said I'm going to <coughs> okay so I got a, a good, a good uh, remark here from someone um, he told me that I cannot use var for my variables so I'm going to just look for it in the documentation just to be sure um, examples and here it says var but I'm going to I'm going to follow the advice uh, of, of, of my list of my viewer and I'm just going to delete the var I'm just going to let it be just like this and let's see what it says um, use var Function use for expected function 
const use var private oh okay 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 so instead of just var let's just use um, something called private um, now the meaning of private or public uh, rather um, and and the different uh, the opposite of private is of course public uh, the meaning of this I'm going to come to just going to explain in just a minute uh, but for now we're just going to make it public just just to be easy and just to make sure it works and I'm just going to explain it in just a minute because this is something that I already know about but uh, since uh, the first thing I saw was in here was a var inside this class I used the var because you know I, I follow the documentation but if someone says me you need to use something else um, okay so basically our problem was that we cannot uh, uh, echo this object because it is not a string so we are going to say echo um, little fish and then we're going to call a method um, now PHP call method from object Call user method on specific object, okay. Um, oh, in here, in here, okay, so we got it. Object and then uh, like a dash and a greater than sign and then the method and then of course also the parameters. Okay, so let's try this echo, uh, little fish and then just get color and then we should normally we just just get uh, gray because we just made an object of a new fish uh, giving it a gray color and then just getting the gray color because just executing this function get color and this returns the value of the attribute color that we have set so let's just save it and just rerun it inside the console and yes indeed it does and here it says gray so very good and we're just going to echo and then dot just to make sure that everything is very good readable and just uh, clear and then rerun the script and yes indeed it says gray so we have made in our PHP script we have made a fish that is gray so apparently it does override the default setting of green and let's just uh, try to make the little fish instead of just gray let's just um, give it nothing and let's see what it does then I believe in my opinion that it's going to give an error uh, because you don't you do not specify which attribute you are giving a 5 and which attribute you are giving a 70 of course we know we want to give it 70 scales and like 5 length but I believe PHP is not going to know it, but just let's just try it and see for ourselves. So yeah, missing argument three for fish called and yes, indeed it is like I uh, as I I already thought it was going to be. So um, so we're going to say uh, PHP uh, object create object. Um, with properties, okay. Objects. Let's hope that this is the good way to do it. Okay, I have a, a small feeling that if I say like this, length. And then just like an arrow and then five and then color uh, blue for example and then scales 70 that this is going to work but NetBeans already says that this is not going to work. Syntax error, integer 5, unexpected integer 5. Identifier variable define. Okay, so basically. Um, okay, so um, PHP 
instantiate class with arguments from standard no, 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 no. with arguments just say like this with arguments from mm, within a class no that's not very functions construct yes Or let's just let's try something else um, instead of just shooting all kinds of stuff in there. Let's just try this one. So we basically still give three parameters, but the second one, which is supposed to be for the for the color, we give we just give we give like uh, empty quotations. I hope that PHP is going to see it as something that is is, is nothing, and then it's going to give uh, the default uh, color green. No. So basically, what it does now is it echoes the the color, and because we entered uh, an empty string or some empty quotations, it's going to just it's just going to to put this empty empty little string inside the the attribute. Um, so yeah, um, let's just say PHP function parameter null function arguments takes array input. All right, all right, all right. So extra echo string. Oh, and here, so you just have to put a null. Okay. We're going to save the file and then just rerun it. And it's still empty. So, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? I question myself. Um, PHP function. Um, PHP function default value variable. Okay, function arguments and still on. let's just say default. The default passing the default. Default argument values. Okay, uh, a function may define C plus plus style default values as follows: use of the values, making a cup of type. Okay, so basically if you put nothing in there, it's going to do it. So let's just try it this way. Parse error on line 25. Yes, indeed, because I just put a space in there. Yes, so this is the problem. Um, okay, so I suppose that if um, if this was a constructor with only one parameter and the default would be green and you just give nothing, then it would be green as it says in here because type is cappuccino and if you just give nothing then the, it's going to use the default and then it's going to use cappuccino so array cappuccino let's just see if we can if we can um, if we can assign something that is null like 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 no value to a certain um, needed attribute Make yogurt flavor. Make yogurt raspberry. What was that work I suspected? output. Yes, indeed. Raspberry. Oh, I see. Yes, a ball of type, and then it's going to go. Yes, I see. So basically what you want to do is, is the ones with the default value, you want to put it with, you want to set them as last. 
Okay, so I'm going to cut it and just paste it in here and just say color green and then we are going to say just f 5 and 70. Let's just rerun this. Okay, so yeah, okay. So basically what we've learned from this one is you can put a default value into a constructor like here, but the default ones, the ones with the default value need to be at the end. So that if you want the uh, the the um, if you want to have the availability of just leaving this parameter open for nothing for the default value, then it's need to be uh, at the end because otherwise you have no way apparently to um, to specify that the the variable color does not have any uh, specific value. And it's, 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 it's going to need to, to use a default value. So basically, yeah, that's, that's what we learned from this one. But apparently, we cannot say like, okay, this function, this function has, has these, these, and these, these three uh, parameters that, are, that you are able to give it to. And you are not going, you are not able to say like, okay, so length is five and then scales is 70 and then color is no. So you are not, uh, apparently you're not able to do that. And you, you just need to put these at the end. So basically the optionals at the end. So if they are let out that they are just, um, that the function just gets the number of parameters that it really needs to have. And that, and those are those two without um, the default value. So yeah. Okay, um, if you've followed so far, you can congratulate yourself because um, we have together, you and I have uh, made our first PHP class and uh, we've, also is, is we've also made uh, our first object from it and we got uh, an attribute from it and we echoed this attribute. So yeah, you are now officially an, an objected, an object-oriented programmer. Uh, <laughs> um, so what are we going to do with it next? So I would say as a, a final little exercise, we're going to make, um, we're going to give it another function, where it just, where it gives you a string of. A full description of all of these uh, attributes and let's just echo this in a very nice way so function um, description description and let's just say we are giving it an, uh, an argument um, number of times this so we get the argument number of times. So we want what we want to do is um, the number of times we want to echo something a certain amount of number of times a certain uh, sentence of the fish. So what are we going to do? So the the sentence that we are going to do. So sentence is yeah i got it right yeah okay so is this um no let's just start with some quotations um a uh, small fish fish um with that is mm, just so this length feet tall has number no we're going to have to use this number of scales and add has mm, scales then dot and I believe we are able to do this. Um, uh, 
and has the color this blue oh no color so according to the color that is uh, inserted in the, in the variable it's going to have that color so our sentence is now programmed so basically we made a, a variable sentence with this string in it and we're going to just uh, echo um, you know what we're just going to leave the number of times out because that's for uh, uh, that's we're going to need uh, some kind of uh, a, a developers functionality that we haven't seen yet and let's just echo this sentence sentence okay so in our in our same script we are going to we are not going to echo something we we, we still make a little fish and it's going to use the default color green and we just say little fish and then description and let's hope that this one works uh, perhaps we might actually add a new line to it a small fish that is five feet tall has 70 scales and has the color green okay so we did it we made our first blueprint we made our first class with our first attributes that are public oh yeah i forgot to explain what public and private is i'll just i'll just explain it in just a minute so um with our first attributes we made a constructor to be able to instantiate the the blueprint that we have to make a single fish object from it and to you know just just assign the right values to the right uh, attributes of, of that particular fish uh, we we gave the fish um, two functions called get color and description and get color just returns the color and description returns uh, no it doesn't return anything it echoes a full sentence of the description of the whole fish and uh, that is very nice so the what public and private means i'm just going to explain it very simply uh, public means that something is reachable from the outside so if we have um, our script and we make a, a new fish and the fish has an attribute length and that length is public we can simply say okay after that one echo uh, little fish and then we just say, come on, uh, length. Then that should normally work. Uh, yes, indeed. So, so length in, is in here, the five. Okay, so perhaps um, add like a new line to it. Okay, and that's just going to, let's just clear this one and rerun it. So the sentence that we did before so the description it's going to echo the sentence and after that we're going to echo little f the, the the length attribute of the little fish and that's going to give us five because we made it five in here in the constructor um, but if we make it private that means that this attribute is only able to be set from inside the class so the only way to set this attribute is by calling either wise the constructor or by changing it by calling um, a, uh, a public function so for example if we set it private this should normally not be able to work anymore so let's just save it and just rerun it and yes in here cannot access private property fish length so that is because it is private but um, if we for example say function get get uh, length and this function just simply returns this the length and this we and we just call little, f uh, little fish dot, uh, get length then it should normally be able to execute it. yes indeed we just we we get the five once again so private just means it's only reachable changeable and, uh, and readable 
from the inside and public means you can do anything with it from the outside you can read it you can write it and you can yeah read and write it um, so basically that's actually uh, the core functionality of an object so you have an object with a certain amount of attributes you have the constructor to be able to instantiate the class the blueprint that you just made you have functions to to get values from uh, your object or to insert values into your object and you also have um, so you have functions and you also have yeah that's it so basically the main functionality of, of a class is just to have attributes to give it some 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 attributes uh, to be able to to make uh, a lot of specific objects from a certain blueprint and just let it do some things that you as a developer define it that it it, it is able to do so yeah um, there you go guys um, the, f the second lesson that we learned is to how to make a, a class in php and uh, we succeeded in it we made a fully functional uh, fish class and we also we also succeeded in instantiating the fish class into a little fish um, so yeah, uh, I hope you you guys learned something from it. I I did and uh, I did, and uh, I hope you guys also learned so something from it. Um, in the future, we're going to be uh, seeing some different things. Uh, I'm going to think about what I'm going to talk about or what I am going to learn in the next video. Um, but yeah, that's for them, and uh, I'll just uh, leave it the script. Uh, I'll just. I'll post the video afterwards on my YouTube channel for everybody to, to re-watch it. And um, I just hope you guys liked it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video, uh, to in the next stream, uh, excuse me, in the next stream, to, to learn some new things together with me as we did today. Um, so, yeah, uh, please, if you liked it, uh, follow me on Twitter. I leave uh, my Twitter in the description and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything um, and just uh, if you really like the video like it if you disliked it dislike it it's up to you but uh, but yeah uh, um, if you also if you have any uh, remarks on me on my uh, way of coding or or if you have any questions uh, feel free to 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 leave a comment um, and I'll just uh, answer every single comment that you guys give to me. So yeah, once again, thank you for uh, thank you for following this live stream, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.